Hello everybody, I am back with another video. It has been a while, but I am really trying to buckle down and really just pump out this content because I really want to reach out to somebody who may need to hear this and who is interested in turning their thoughts around. So as you can see by the title, I am going to talk about my tips to help with negative thinking. I have six tips here that helps me and I just want to share them with you all. Maybe it could help somebody, so let's do it. <laughs> So tip number one is definitely journaling for me. Um, I know you hear this all the time, journal, journal, journal. It helps and it does, it honestly do. When I journal, I do a couple of things. I will journal about my thoughts, how I'm feeling. I will journal down my affirmations, what I love about myself and some goals that I want to accomplish and kind of like not really plan out my life, but sort of like jot down things i want to learn or things that i want to accomplish or things i want to try things i want to change about myself and that just to me that pumps me up to just take the steps to try to reach those goals and you know i just get that vision like you know this is what i want i'll pump myself up like yes i can do it if other people can do it why not me you know like seriously it's like if other people can change your life around do these certain things it's like why not you of course you can do it you just got to put in the work put in the determination and just really just take one step at a time and just try to get closer and closer to the goals that you want to accomplish. So for tip two is to be present. Now you're probably wondering, how do I be present? Some of you probably know how to be present, some don't. I definitely was a person that was never present. I was always just so stuck in my thoughts all the time and just wondering what other people were thinking about me or thinking about something from the past. I just really just internally beat myself up inside. Like my inner critic is so harsh. It's just insane. It's just so crazy. It's so crazy thinking about it now that like I lived so many years with this harsh inner critic and it was just normal to me. it was just normal to me and you know last year or so is when I really started to take my um, self-love and self-development journey so seriously and I'm finally like seeing some progress putting in all that practice work going through so many just ups and downs it's like I'm finally seeing the results from all this hard work that I've been putting in. So anyway, sorry, went off on a little bit of a rant or whatever, but so how to be present. So when I am looking to be present, what I do is I will breathe, just take a deep breath in and then let it out. And then I'll just slowly breathe in and out, just breathing through my nose, just, I'll just breathe, breathe and just focus on my breath listen to the sounds around me and I would also just take the opportunity to just clear my mind out just you know just not focus on anything I'm thinking about and just be in the moment work on the present task that I have like currently um, ahead of me um, and just try to just get out of my mind just get out of the jumble of thoughts that we all are so familiar with and getting caught up in so for tip number three is checking your thoughts so what I mean by that is watching what you are saying to yourself watching what you are thinking just take a moment and just step back and just notice like what it is you were just thinking just then um also it's just taking a moment to um you know like i said acknowledging the negative things you're saying to yourself so if you once you notice that you're doing that try to flip it into a positive so let's say that you are currently thinking you know um my family don't like me or, you know, I have friends that are probably talking behind my back, having a good time without me or something like that. I'm just coming up with the scenario. So let's say you're thinking that there's no type of um, evidence that that is happening. You just thinking this to yourself. What you want to do is think positively. So I would say something like, you know, I'm a great friend. I am surrounded by a great group of friends. My friends love me. Or I would say, you know, my family loves me. They love me for who I am. They accept me for who I am. And then I'll go through and just say some positive affirmation to myself. Like, you know, I am beautiful. I am loving. I am energetic. I'm fun to be around. And um, just saying things that I love about myself, you know, and just to really make you feel loved. And you have to make sure that you feel loved by you first. If you can't love yourself, it's like, how are you going to love anybody else? You definitely have to put yourself first. You're not becoming dependent on people to love you you have to make sure that at the end of the day no matter what happens you got you okay number 
four, you need to figure out what it is you're absorbing on a daily basis. So what I mean is, what are you listening to? What are you reading? What are you looking? What are you watching at? Um, or what are you watching? <laughs> So what I do to make sure that I'm absorbing positive things into my daily routine is I'll listen to a positive podcast, some motivating YouTubers, motivating, um, inspiring stories I'll listen to, I'll watch on YouTube. I'll make sure I'm listening to positive music, making sure I'm listening to the lyrics. You know, sometimes certain songs or certain lyrics will trigger you and then it'll just put you in a spiral. I've been there. It's not fun. So it's like if I know that I'm feeling like a little sensitive this day or, you know, I just want to be cautious of just making sure that I'm on a good, good track for the day. I'll make sure I, I have a playlist where I have positive songs. I have a place where I have religious music and I'll just play those if I feel like I need to just absorb nothing but positivity in my day. So number five is definitely just getting outside and just getting that sunlight on your skin, feeling the breeze, um, and taking that fresh air. You want to get out of your home, get outside of these four walls that you're surrounded with, especially if you feel like you're just in a, like a little cloud or a little pool of just negativity and just depression just feeling down you just want to at least try to get outside a little bit for me at least that works getting outside and i'll walk i will listen to a motivating podcast and i would feel so much better and one thing also i would do before i go back in the house because oftentimes you'll go outside feel great come back in and like want to crawl back in the bed i've been there so now before i come back home and i know that i'm like kind of having a crappy day i will plan out what i want to do when i come back home so that can be something like starting laundry or cleaning up or you know just playing the game or making me a little snack or a lunch or something you don't want to come back in and kind of just like well i just want to go back in the bed and you're like going through the cycle all over again you want to come back in and like okay i have things i want to do for myself and just keep yourself busy and active and i definitely think that'll help you out okay so my last tip tip number six is to meditate and pray I highly think that that is very, very helpful when you are dealing with just the constant negative stream of thoughts. And what I usually do um, is when I meditate, um, let's say I'm meditating for, I don't know, I'll just set a timer for like 25 minutes or 30 minutes or something. Um, I'll start off my meditation by breathing, focusing on my breath, taking deep breaths in, deep breaths out. And then once I feel like I'm in the flow and, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much set, then I will start <clears throat> praying. I'll just pray about what I'm feeling, what I want guidance on, what I need help with, um, you know, my fears, the things that I want in the future, pray for family and friends. Then once I'm done praying, I will use the rest of the time to just be in silence, focus on the sounds around my environment and just breathe in and out and that also helps with my earlier tip with um staying in the present practicing meditation and just being in silence for me helps me to be able to pull myself out of like a flood of negative thoughts i'm not gonna say i'm completely cured because i'm not i still have my days where the thoughts will get to me but i'm way better able to handle it now that I have the tools and that I put these things to practice and I found out what worked for me and yeah that helps me to just pull myself out of the negative flow of thoughts that I'm usually in and just kind of like sit back and be like okay I see that you are thinking these things I need you to chill go ahead and just relax and I need you to re rearrange your thinking and do something here because I already know how I can get I will just be in the bed and not do nothing and things just won't get done. So those are my tips. I really hope that they help somebody out there. Give them a shot. Um, as I mentioned earlier about the podcast and YouTubers that I watch, I will put them in the description box. You can also check them out and maybe add them to your playlist. And hopefully I can help spread the positivity out to everyone. And um, I would love any uh, constructive criticism that you can give me. Let me know what you know I can improve on, what I can do better on. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for listening. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.